Let's learn about designing logic with LUTs. In this video, we will consider the use of LUTs in logic design. At PGAs, you look up tables, LUTs, as the base logic element. LUTs are quite versatile for logic design. Learning to love LUTs takes some time, but it'll be worth the effort. In the previous video, we discussed how LUTs can be used to implement any n input logic expression, n being the number of inputs to the LUT, as in this example. For a three input LUT, we need eight memory locations. For four inputs, 16 memory locations, and so on. A LUT is typically built out of SRAM bits to hold the configuration memory, LUT mask, and a set of multiplexers to select the bit of the SRAM that drives the output. The figure shows a 4-LUT, which consists of 16 bits of SRAM and a 16-to-1 multiplexer implemented as a tree of 2-to-1 multiplexers. The 4-LUT can implement any function of 4 inputs, uh, inputs being A, B, C, or D, by setting the appropriate value in the LUT mask. It can also be built from two 3-LUTs connected by a 2-to-1 multiplexer. We can implement more logic in the larger LUT devices. However, there's a trade-off between LUT size and the amount of routing needed. Bigger LUTs mean less routing, but also more memory locations. Let's look at some examples to see why. If we used an 8-input LUT to create an 8-bit address decoder, only one logic cell would be needed. The figure shows an implementation in a PAL, but the 8-input LUT would look similar. However, if we use 3-input LUTs, then four levels of logic elements and the associated routing between them will be needed as shown. Let's determine how many LUTs are needed to make a 4-bit comparator. The XNOR of the first two bits can be implemented in one 4-input LUT, as can bits 3 and 4. The 4-input AND on the end can be created in a 4-input LUT, so the answer is three total 4-input LUTs are required to implement a 4-bit comparator. How many 4-input LUTs will a full adder require? Think about this, and we will look at it in depth in our next video. In this video, we have learned FPGAs use LUTs of various sizes to implement logic. There's a trade-off between the size of the LUT and the amount of routing required. Larger LUTs can create more logic, which will require less routing. Smaller LUTs will require more routing, but offer better logic efficiency. LUTs can be used to create a variety of combinatorial logic functions.